I'm gonna change your Samsung phone from this to this. Yo, what's up guys? You already know the video. Today we are gonna be fixing the Samsung Note 9 green screen plum that you guys may have. And this is a part 3 video. Do remember to check out all my other videos regarding this plum. But the very first step, what you guys gotta do is open your back of your Samsung Note 9 phone. As I know, some people will have problem trying to take out their phone. But what you guys gotta do is you guys gotta take a guitar pick. And what you guys gotta do is slowly pry open the back of the phone. And this is very important because you want to make sure you don't hurt your fingers when you're doing the process because I've hurt my fingers several times when I'm trying to open up the phone and honestly it's just very painful to do it but what you guys gotta do is just open the back of the phone and once you see this uh, back of the phone you guys want to use a screwdriver that is 0.010 mm and what you guys gotta do is basically just use the screwdriver and just unscrew all 18 screws at the back of the phone uh you really can open it but the problem is most of the time when you guys are watching the video is your samsung note 9 is completely locked on the green screen plum and you can't even access the front you can't even access the home screen so this is what i do i have to use a screwdriver and i have to open it up because if i don't open it up then the phone will not work so what you guys really want to do is basically just take out your screws with all 18 screws out there and because if you have a screen problem that is green in color you can't even access the phone you can't even open the lock screen so therefore i have to use my back of the phone to kind of just use as a backdoor access to open the phone so that's why i have to use the screwdriver and that's the reason why i have to take out but if you guys have some if you guys have no problems with opening the back of the phone we can continue on with the video but as you guys can see i'm just trying to open up the screws real quick there's uh three top screws on the top of the samsung phone and there's like a middle screw at the middle of the samsung phone and there's the bottom where there are screws as well as you can see i'm just trying to remove the wireless charger of the note 9 and that's just one of the things that caused the phone to glitch out and go from the green screen mode so you guys want to be very careful and just remove the uh wireless charger part of it because that thing also kind of like messes with the phone with the electronic signals and stuff like that so that's why you gotta remove the wireless charger from it and there's a bottom charger as you can see uh at the bottom i think that is about the battery because once i remove that uh bottom piece as you can see i'm uh, trying to move right now basically the battery on my phone just drains a lot of battery and that's just one of the things that i've realized when i'm trying to remove the phone i did some trial ex uh, experimentation etc and that's basically what i came up with and it's just these two components which i'm gonna remove right now uh, i'm removing the wireless charger as you can see right there is this black uh, piece right here and basically that will just makes your your battery just feel lesser but don't worry about that we'll put back in so what you guys want to do is just remove that power cable so you don't get electrocute yourself because that's also pretty dangerous but you just want to make sure you move that very very carefully you don't have to wear safety gloves like me because i'm not getting electrocuted not even once so the second thing what we gotta do is we gotta remove the black color bottom part of it and that's basically the um that's basically the uh battery part of the phone and that's just like a secondary battery thing and we just gotta have to remove it so it's pretty easy to remove as you can see i just i'll just put it aside and as you can see now your phone is ready to do it you can um able to use your phone now as you can see i'm just gonna flip it up put everything back and put my glass cover back and clip that power back thin and basically just flip it over and put back the glass case and you're set so right here i'm gonna lower my phone as you can see i'm just trying to lower my phone but basically as you can see the green screen still happens at the front opening phase of the samsung note 9 opening and it will still persist on but don't worry guys once you guys are uh, past that opening screen you guys will be able to access your phone everything will work and the green screen will just disappear it's just only the opening face that shows the samsung galaxy note 9 and that's the only thing that caused the problem that's why i realized the green screen still persists only at the loading screens and that's the only thing you guys have to take note of as you can see once i swipe up the green screen discoloration has just decreased so what you guys gotta do is as you can see my phone is partially fixed there's still lines in a little bit greenish as you guys can see but 
what you guys gotta do is you just gonna have to open uh, something at play store and you guys wanna just hit up your play store real quick So once you guys are at the play store right there once you guys are at the play store what you guys gotta search up is something called omelette saver so you guys want to type it up hit up omelette saver i have read my install so that's why i'm not installing i'm just gonna open it but you guys gotta download it and basically once you guys have opened it right there you want to press the pixel feeling you want to use it uh put up the physical brightness to 255 as you can see boom my phone has just been fixed as you can see the green screen is just not even happening at this point there is no lines, no jagged lines, no glitching lines. As you can see, the phone is completely fixed right here. And if you are satisfied with this stage, you guys will be able to keep the phone. But do realize that your battery will actually drain a lot once you guys don't put the two parts that we just removed out. Um, if you guys uh, did not remove the parts because you guys have a very good phone that does not uh, allow you to open the screen, what you guys gotta do is basically just very it's very simple to do it you don't have to do anything and you can it's already a fix for your phone but for my phone it's a very serious problem and that's why i had to remove the back of the phone like i said at the beginning as you can see the phone is fixed but the battery as you can see is draining like a it's draining like crazy as you can see it was up to 50 just now and now it's 47 within a matter of three minutes but what you guys gotta do is basically just install the new update if possible um that will actually kind of fix the problem and kind of just solve a little bit of the problem remove the glitches a little bit i'll see you once i download this update so as you can see i've just downloaded my update right here real quick and basically the update basically just solves some of the green screen problems that you may have and that's why that that's the most important thing about it and most of the time when you download the update most of the things has been patched but just for safety reasons i'm gonna just power off my phone and put everything back and this is for the people who actually have this critical problem with the green screen that can't even allow them to open it and that's why i'm gonna power off my phone and one i'm gonna piece everything back on the back of the phone and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna easily just slide off the glass case right here because i've already previously opened the glass case and if you guys want to uh, see a new video on how to open the glass case of the samsung note 9 back you guys will have to comment below and like and subscribe and just tell me down in the comments i really appreciate y'all and what i'm gonna do as you can see i'm just gonna piece back the back of the phone the back section of the phone which contains the battery and basically it's kind of easy to install the screws right there just put on the screws and that's pretty much it but sometimes once you guys install everything back the battery may not work a little bit so you guys want to be very careful and just follow everything as demonstrated in this video because sometimes the battery don't even work it does not work properly and it drains a lot so that's why you guys want to put back and in the previous video some of you guys have said that i don't have to remove the back of the samsung note 9 if you don't remove the back of the samsung note 9 uh, for me it does not even open i can't even go to a lock screen i can't lock the phone it was just uh, have this kind of like uh one line over there and that's basically a blob for me so that's why i was like i'm gonna make a new video on how to do it that's more detailed than my previous videos because the previous video uh did not really get the message across as much as i wanted to so that's why i'm creating a new video but as you can see i'm just tightening up the wireless charger part of the phone i'll see you once i power everything through i'll see you at the end of the video so as you guys can see i've gonna open my power back of the phone and i basically just installed every single component and parts in my phone and basically what you guys will be seeing right here is that starting screen that will have that green screen plum like i said from the start from the get go you, you already know that only at, when loading times they will have this green screen issue so you guys are gonna have to pay attention how to mitigate the plum but as you can see that's the thing that i kind of solve right now and if i do solve it i'm gonna post a new video on how i solve that green screen plum and the loading screen so stay tuned for that video but as you guys can see the phone is a bit glitchy and green because the system is not start up it's basically called omelet saver as you can see on the bottom it says starting service and basically what you guys gotta do is bam your phone has just been solved once the startup service it just needs to solve the problem so it's pretty simple to do it as you can see 
And if you want to copy my settings, just go ahead and copy my settings. Use pixel filter. Just put basic brightness up all the way up, jacket all the way up, and basically just use all my settings and basically boom, you're all set. And most of your stuff is done. But I'm gonna do an experiment where I delete the omelette saver to show you the effects of offing the omelette saver. So if you guys do off the omelette saver, the thing what will happen is you'll turn a green color back again and everything will be glitchy as hell so as you can see once i off it this is the effects of it i could not even move my phone but as you guys can see i just fixed the phone and i completely just removed the fix as you can see that's it for today's video and do remember to subscribe comment below what other uh fix you want to see next in the video and then i'll see you next video peace out yo Put it out the coupe at the light. Yeah.